Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with Day Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for another Ghost Recon Wildlands video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about some leaked weapons that are going to be coming to Ghost Recon Wildlands PvP when the PvP releases later on this year. Not exactly sure when that is going to be yet. We do not have an exact date on the Fallen Ghost DLC or the PvP DLC yet. But uh, we're going to be talking about a bunch of new weapons that are going to be coming to the game for PvP. So we're just going to start off in the Assault Rifle class and we're going to kind of go down through each individual class. Um, there's a lot of weapons to talk about here. So in the Assault Rifle class, one of the new weapons we're going to be seeing is called the CM901 and this Assault Rifle has been in other games. Um, I believe it was in a couple Rainbow games um, and then I know it was in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, no Modern Warfare 3. Um, but it's, it's a very good Assault Rifle from the games that I have actually used it in. Um, and then also we are going to be getting the M16, which is kind of the pinnacle of the United States military for the last, you know, so many years. Um, and uh, this will be coming to the game. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work with um, if they're going to have different fire modes and stuff like that, which hopefully they do. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just another really cool weapon, the nostalgic weapon, I guess you could say, that's going to be coming to Ghost Recon Wildlands. So next we have the Carbine Rifles. So this is a little bit of a different... Um, class. I'm not sure if they're actually going to specify this in the actual PvP um, where you can choose your weapons if they're actually going to differentiate from assault rifles to carbines. So we do have the AdCore assault rifle. So if you guys google the AdCore assault rifle it's a it's a gas piston carbine shoots 5.56. It's similar to the AR-15 kind of like the M4 um, style like that the P416 kind of very similar to those weapons so I'm going to kind of see how they're going to distinguish that from the other weapons in the game. Then we have the F2000, which honestly is probably one of the ugliest guns I've ever seen. Um, it was in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and it was in a couple other games as well. And it's it's very, very ugly, but hopefully it, uh, it may be ugly. Hopefully it performs on the battlefield when we actually get to use it in the game. Next, we have the SG552, which we already have the SIG 556 in the game. But this one is a little bit different. Um, I believe this one was in um, Rainbow Six Vegas 2. I used it a lot in that game, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's a good weapon, you know, from the from the games that I've used it as. Obviously, Ghost Recon Wildlands is probably going to behave a little bit differently. But And then we have Bullpup. So they actually differentiate these into Bullpup rifles as well, which the AUG A3 technically would be a Bullpup rifle. But in the game, it falls in the Assault Rifle class. So like I said, I'm not exactly sure how they're going to differentiate between the classes or these are just breaking it down in these. And like I said, guys, these are all leaks. These are all leaks. Take these with a grain of salt. This does not mean that they will all be in the game. But hopefully they will. It would be really nice to see a lot of new weapons added to the game for PvP. Um, and the one bullpup rifle I see here that uh, we do not have in the game as of now, um, it's called the RFB. It kind of looks like a sniper rifle. It does have a sniper scope on it, but it kind of looks like the um, one of the LMGs, or not the LMGs, the L85 uh, assault rifle. It looks kind of similar to that. Um, based by these pictures and I will link this down in the description guys um, and then next we have the marksman um, basically the DMR rifles and uh, the MK14 would technically fall in a DMR a, a class but in this game it's actually listed as a sniper rifle so there we have again I'm not sure how they're going to differentiate in the you know PvP when these marksman rifles and stuff like that come so the two ones we have in here that are not currently in the game we have the SKS which is a very long range rifle it kind of looks like a really long version of like maybe an AK-12 um, with the banana clip and stuff like that. But, uh, but that should be fun to use. Um, I actually have used this in several other games. It's a very good weapon based on those other games. Um, and then we have the M110 Sniper Marksman Rifle. And according to the picture, this thing has a crazy, crazy scope that literally almost it has a magnification scope on the actual weapon. And then it has a scope binocular scope or something like that in front of it. So I'm not sure if that is actually going to be in the game or not. That would be pretty insane if it was. That would definitely tell you that we're going to have a little bit of long range engagements on these maps. So they're not going to be crazy, crazy small maps. So next we have the actual sniper rifles. And uh, obviously in the game we have like the MSR and then the L11A3 or the L115A3 sniper rifles and stuff like that. But some of the new ones they're going to be bringing to PvP is the Mosin Nagant, which um, one of my buddies actually owns this weapon. Um, it's actually a really fun gun to shoot, and it's not really that expensive to buy if you are just going to buy one in real life. Um, but uh, it it's kind of it, it will work for the for the time period, and I guess you could say for the for being in Bolivia, because this is a sniper that I would kind of think you would see more in Bolivia, because it's not a very expensive one to buy. And you'd probably see the cartel running with this actually more than you probably would them using the M40A5. 
but then also we have the DSR-1, which is really close, kind of visually looks like a 50 cal, um, and that is going to be one of the new snipers coming to PvP, and then also we have the GM-6 Lynx, which really looks very, very similar to the Barrett 50 cal. Um, I believe this was actually in a couple other uh, games, including a couple Call of Duty games, and I believe a couple rain one Rainbow game maybe. I'm not sure. I can't remember all the guns in all the Rainbow Six games. But next we have the shotguns. So as of right now in Ghost Recon Wildlands, we do not have very, very many shotguns to choose from. I believe there's only three different shotguns. Um, I think they added a couple to the game um, since then with the DLC packs and stuff like that. But we are going to be getting an M59 or M590A1, which is basically your pump action shotgun, which I know a lot of people have been really wanting to see a pump action shotgun in the game. And then also we're going to be getting the KSG shotgun, which is another pump action shotgun that has a decent amount of range. Um, I really wish they would be able to kind of differentiate if you were using buckshot or slugs. I think that would make this game a little bit more fun if you wanted to switch over to a slug and you could hit people from further away. Um, that would be pretty cool. And then also we have the M4 Super 90, which is a really cool shotgun. It's a Benelli shotgun, and this is a pump-action shotgun. It has the pistol grip on it, and this thing is going to be an absolute monster. This should be a lot of fun to use. Um, I haven't really used shotguns very much in this game yet, but hopefully with the new ones coming in PvP, it will make it a little bit more fun to use some of these weapons. Next, we have the light machine guns. So as of right now... Probably the most notorious gun that everybody's been asking for is actually going to be coming to PvP. According to these leaks, we are going to be getting the M60 light machine gun. And it does show it with a bipod on it, whether or not that will actually be in the game. I highly doubt it because as of up to this point, we do not have any bipods in any of the weapons in the game. But it would be something that I think they, they should institute. But who knows, maybe they will change it up a little bit in PvP. So next we have the MG4. Which this is, I mean, you can kind of compare this visually to um, like the MG-121. Um, it's pretty close to that, but uh, it does going to be performing a little bit differently. Um, and then also we have some saws, which, you know, the M249 saw is its kind of in the game. It's, it's just called the Mark 249, which is basically a saw. Um, we are going to be getting the L86A2 light machine gun the saw i know the assault rifle version of this weapon is already in the game and there was a big thing back when i posted a video earlier in the year about the assault rifles and i got a lot of crap for you know actually mixing those weapons up but we are going to be getting the l86a2 light machine gun now coming to the game also we're going to be getting the rpk which is a very known um light machine gun that is in a lot of other uh shooter games and stuff like that so that would be nice to see coming to the game next we're going to be talking about the like submachine guns so Obviously, we already have the MP7 in the game, but we are going to be getting the PP2000, which is a very, it's, you could almost call this a machine pistol, but it is going to be classified as an SMG. Um, it does have a very big magazine, and it shoots quite quickly. So then next, we have the UMP45. So I actually talked about this in an earlier video later, uh, it was about a month ago or so, and everybody gave me a lot of crap because, oh, you're just talking about Call of Duty weapons coming to the game. I'm just talking about weapons that I would like to see come to this game, and we are going to be getting the UMP-45 submachine gun coming to the game, so hopefully this gun performs well. I know a lot of the people that loved using the MP-5 in other games came to this game, and the MP-5 was kind of an underperforming weapon. So next we have the FMG-9, which is kind of like a machine pistol that, you know, I know I don't like to compare Call of Duty very often, but this gun was actually in Modern Warfare 3 that you can actually flip these pistols open, and it was like a machine pistol that shot very, very quickly. Um, next we have, it says the FAMAS, so the gun in this game, the G2, looks like a FAMAS, but in their listing here it does show that a FAMAS is going to be coming to the game. Whether that's going to be different at all from the G2 that's in the game already, we don't know yet. Hopefully we will find some more information about this soon. And also we're going to be getting the AK-74U submachine gun. There are a couple guns in the game right now that are similar to this, but we are going to be getting the legit AK-74U, which honestly I'm pretty excited about. I love using this weapon, and uh, hopefully um, it should be a lot of fun to use. And that is actually how it is listed in here too, by the way, guys. It is listed as a PDR submachine gun, so don't give me hate saying that the 74U is an assault rifle. I'm going off exactly how they have it listed in the leak. So that's pretty much all. Actually, real quick, guys, I'm going to talk about some of the new pistols that are going to be coming to the game. So the first pistol that I, that's in here that's different than what we have in the game is the C75, um, which is um, it's, a, it's a basic pistol, I guess you could say. You know, it's comparable to the 45T and the 5.7. Um, you know, there are a couple other uh, pistols that are going to be coming to the game, but they don't really give a whole lot of information on them. 
but one that kind of stands out it does it just calls it the bore the hg bore which i'm assuming hg is like the handgun and uh, i'm gonna pop an image up on screen here guys and if you guys have never seen this movie the original triple x with vin diesel the picture that they actually have in the leak looks very similar to this weapon which would be absolutely crazy to have something that looks like this this thing in the movie was absolutely crazy you know it's just awesome it was an awesome looking revolver um, and there's a couple other guns that are in here, but they already they already kind of list them in Ghost Recon Wildlands, like the 45T, um, which is already in the game. So that is pretty much all for the weapons, guys. And like I said, take this with a grain of salt. This does not mean these are all coming to PvP. They might, they might not. Hopefully they do. It would be nice to see this big of a list of weapons coming to Ghost Recon Wildlands. It would kind of broaden broaden up a little bit and give us something fresh to play in PvP. So that's pretty much all for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on it, guys. It would be much appreciated. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on everything there is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.